What's going on guys, it's Isaac. Today I'm working on my 66 Chevy truck, getting it ready for the Hot Rod Power Tour because unfortunately I am not able to get the Biscayne going. The Biscayne is gonna require way more work than I am capable of doing. I am still recovering from the uh, shoulder injury. And I mean, I tried, I just could not uh, handle what this requires so uh, the old 66 truck it's done the power tour before and the only thing it needs is an oil change I, I need to repair a hole in the floor so if it rains it doesn't like rain inside the truck and I was gonna come up with a clever possible if I have time clever air conditioning for the truck oh yeah tires so I'm gonna go grab some wheels because I'm going to go with the old rally wheels on this truck rather than those, the aluminum ones that are on it now. I don't know. I just want to change up the look a little bit. So I'm going to grab my jack, an impact driver, some sockets, and head out to my junkyard, basically, and uh, get some different wheels off of the truck. So let's do it. So we're out here at my place and uh, I have this frame here and it's got the rally wheels that I want. So I'm going to pull it forward a little bit out of the weeds and I'm going to grab these wheels, the wheels on the rear end and the whole rear end. So I'm going to tie a chain to it and get it out of the weeds.
it is hotter than hot. Uh, got the wheels, got the rear end. I wish I had some help. be the hardest thing I've got to do on this truck is uh, what I just did. Next thing, well I've got to take it to the store to get uh, the tires mounted and balanced. When they gave me the price, it was only like $40 more to go ahead and do the mounting and balancing on the wheels and tires and put them on my truck and in this heat I'll pay $40 for someone to do it so heading to the store drop off these wheels and tires grabbing the truck and heading to go get them put on the truck Still need trim rings and two center caps. I'm sure I'll find them somewhere. So I made it back to the shop. I've got the wheels on and tires looking good. All I need is the uh, rear center caps, but not a big emergency. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to back this thing into the garage, jack it up and start with the oil change and look into the uh, torque converter lockup. I got to hook up a toggle switch, so let's do it. filter get the dirt off of it I guess I need to go ahead and add 
oil to it before I forget. So that'll be up top. And then we're going to figure out how to get the uh, overdrive working because I need that. So I just added some uh, zinc additive, some ZDDP, and I topped up the engine with oil. Now I'm going to crank this thing up and let it, uh, you know, run for a second. And uh, then I'm going to check the time. It's getting kind of late. And we have oil pressure. Cool. Now I'm going to look underneath for oil leaks. figure out this overdrive. So I'm going to go underneath and uh, pull off the, uh, the wire to the transmission and uh, see what I got to do to wire it up. I don't know what I did with the directions. Hopefully the, the wiring will be self-explanatory like a power and a ground. That's it. Hopefully that's all it is. Uh-huh. And then vacuum off of the manifold or carburetor you want. Well, I mean, I, it already has a, some sort of a vacuum switch on y'all's transmission with a yes, black sir, with a bl you, black yeah. wire coming off of it. That's, you hook vacuum to that little port on that. Yeah, it's got vacuum it, on it. Okay. I've and been I've been driving this the, I've been driving this thing around for like a year now <laughs> without the okay. lockup hooked up. Okay, well, 12 volts of the red wire and vacuum to that switch will lock it up in fourth gear. Okay, what's the green wire for? That's if you want to manually lock it up, you could run a run that through a toggle switch to ground. Uh huh. So. And it would manually lock the converter. Okay, well, I don't think I need to do that. So all I got to have is just key on power and I'm uh -huh. set. Key on power and vacuum, and you're good to go. Man, I could have done this last night. You know, I looked on uh, YouTube and Google and all that stuff, and no one said anything. I couldn't find anything saying uh -huh. just hook up 12 volts to that, the red wire. That's why we got a tech line. <laughs> all right, man. Well, that makes my job easier. Okay. So, uh, what's your name again? My name's Jim. Jim, I appreciate it, man. Uh -huh. Uh, and, uh... Super simple. Gonna trim this a little bit. Alright, well, it's not so simple. When you got a hurt arm, I'm gonna take this wire and strip it. Boom. I'm gonna grab a, a butt connector. Now, I really should be using a shrink solder connector, but I don't have the torch to make it shrink. So I'm just going to do a butt connector right now, just a regular old butt connector, and I'll come back to it when it when it gives me a problem. I was going to say, I'll come back to it later, but we all know how that's going to go. So what's going to happen is water is going to get in between here and it's going to corrode the uh, connection and then I'm going to have no more lockup. But, since I don't drive this thing very often in the rain, you know, it's going to last years. Might even last longer than the transmission will last. We'll find out. So, connect this.
so there's some actual wiring There's some places I can hang my wire, and it's done. That was so easy. So there's the wire, and it's going right up into a grommet, and I am done being underneath this truck. So let's get out of here. miles on it for a little bit. I'll bring some extra oil. It was full, over full on one side and not full. On, it was perfect on the other side. So I'm hoping it's just, it'll be fluid. Make sure it's full. It's full. And it should be clean because I changed it last year. Should be good to go. We're going to check the coolant. We are good. So coolant's good, oil is good. We need to check the transmission fluid. But first I'm going to First I'm going to pull it out some because I need to hook up the torque converter lock up and while it's running, when I pull it out, I'll check the fluid. Harder. 